Good afternoon. My name is Kirsten Libby, and during our time together today, I'm going to discuss a business challenge in my organization, an innovative idea for solving that challenge. And to do that, I'll be using a strategic analysis, uh, specifically the PESEL analysis, um, which will be looking at the external business environment um, that we will use for problem solving. Libby Law Office is a law firm owned by Kirsten Libby, and that's me. Um, it's located on Ray Street in St. Paul. We offer both legal services and government relations services. Um, since the establishment of my business, there's been a number of changes in, in the field that have warranted me taking a look in order to remain competitive. Um, and in order to do that, as I stated, we're going to be using this PESEL analysis, um, specifically identifying the measures that will help it remain competitive. This analysis will undertake whether or not I should entertain the idea of opening a new law office in Gandia, Minnesota, where I just moved. Um, we'll be looking at a couple different elements. Um, the PESEL analysis takes into consideration the political, economic, socio-cultural, legal, technological, and physical environment of the business. The political environment of the business um, St. Paul. It's located in St. Paul. St. Paul is located in Ramsey County. This is a major metropolitan area. Um, St. Paul has a very liberal city council. Uh, the Ramsey County Commission is uh, somewhat more conservative. This situation I expect to remain the same in the foreseeable future. Most of the policies, ordinances, regulations developed at the local level govern how, how businesses conduct their businesses. The local political environment um, will continue to regulate business with ever more restrictions and higher taxes, um, looking at higher minimum wage and more government mandates. The decisions made by these political bodies have a huge effect on the cost of doing business in the city. Rents are high, taxes are high, parking is tough to find, um, and continuing costs are continuing to rise. Scandia is a rural community located in northern Washington County at the edge of the Twin Cities. It's about 25 miles from my, my current location. Um, it has a very small historic village uh, where it houses the business community and is the, is the focal of the community and business life. Um, worlds away from St. Paul. Big city, big government, small city, small government. And that's the political environment. As far as the economic environment, um, the City of St. Paul has named economic priorities of striving to create a climate that's attractive to businesses. Um, it includes increasing the number of jobs in St. Paul, increasing the access to those jobs, and access to more opportunity for its residents. <clears throat> they want to grow St. Paul's tax base to maintain and expand city services, um, am amenities, and infrastructure. They want to lower unemployment among the city's diverse populations um, who have disproportionately high unemployment rates. The 2017 budget for the City of St. Paul was $114 million, and the 2018 budget is $142 million. That's a 24% increase. These increased tax dollars come from a variety of sources. Um, however, they place a large burden on businesses and it's something that has to be taken into account. The city of Scandia's economic development philosophy is to enhance Scandia's long-term prosperities and enrich the quality of the life of the residents by retaining and growing existing businesses, recruiting new businesses, and expanding life cycle housing opportunities for its residents. Its budget government infrastructure is a fraction of what it is in St. Paul. And so there, there are many elements that combine to create economic growth. A dynamic and fair, balanced regulatory environment, a place to do business and availability of skilled workforce. A detriment <clears throat> to opening an office in Scandia is that there is limited commercial space. There's one place for rent out on the highway next to the bank in a strip mall um, containing a liquor store, a pizza parlor, a hair salon, and a post office. I would prefer to own a small building in the heart of Main Street. Um, my vision in St. Paul when I opened this office was to own an old-fashioned Main Street law office, and I do. I want to continue that vision in Scandia if I open an office there. The um, social-cultural environment 
St. Paul has a population of over 300,000 people, median household income of 54,000. Um, and it is growing at a small clip. The population is very diverse, 52.5% white, 18.2% um, Asian, 14.9% black, and 30% of the people in St. Paul speak a non-English language. 90.2 are U.S. citizens. Scandia has a population of 4,000 people with a median age of 48.3, a median household income of 85,000. Um, it is also growing and it is largely white, 94.6%, 4.62% Hispanic, and 0.42% black. Um, only 3.2% of the people in Scandia speak a non-English language. Uh, my law office practices in the area of real estate, estate planning, small business, environmental law, regulatory compliance, probate, and family law. It's a general practice with long-term lawyers whose knowledge and experience run deep. This combination works well in any environment. <clears throat> my philosophy is that offering legal services is a service, and I have kept our fees low because I believe people should be able to hire, utilize, and maintain an ongoing relationship with their lawyer. Um, I have worked with the entire continuum of clients from poverty level to Fortune 100 companies. There is no law office in Scandia, and the nearest law offices are located in Forest Lake, Hugo, or Stillwater. I think a law office um, would bring the community an asset that it doesn't have um, and give it a business that um, now people have to travel to seek. It would allow me to broaden my client base and it would allow me a place to meet clients um, who don't live in St. Saint, in, in Saint Paul. Um, another factor that we're going to take into consideration is technology. We know how technology affects business today. The use of the internet is indispensable in the practice of law. Courts have gone e-filing, both state and federal. Calendaring is electronic. Uh, communication is either email or phone. Client communication is either email or phone. In my St. Paul office, um, I have a voice over IP system. I have a desktop, a laptop, an iPad, an iPhone, and um, I use IT for billing, for, for banking, for calendaring, for filing my taxes, and all my daily activities. Uh, my office in St. Paul has that capacity. Uh, one of the biggest drawbacks to opening an office in Scandia is that its technology, information technology, is limited. Um, there is one provider in the business area, Midcon. Um, there is one provider in the area of the residence, which is Frontier. Um, I have heard um, lots of complaints about both. And so that is that will be a big ticket item in this analysis. The legal environment is stable at all levels, federal, state, and local. Um, the the process is is out there for all. It's fairly transparent. Um, there's public input. Um, I have been involved politically um, in my community, and as I stated earlier in this conversation, um, this law office also has government relations. So we do a lot of work with government. Um, and the environment, being a major city, St. Paul has a very large population. Um, the city has good transport network. It's comprising of road, rail, air. Um, the city's clean, has good water quality. Um, Scandia is small and rural. <clears throat> there are private wells, individual sewage septic system. There is no transportation network, um, with the exception of roads. Both cities are clean. So the summary and conclusion of this is there are pros to con and cons to both locations. I'm established and well-known in St. Paul. I have awesome clients who are, are regular referral base for me. I'm involved in Ramsey County and in the area of St. Paul where I practice. Um, on the other hand, it would be nice to do something new in a geographic area that has no lawyer and where I'm unfamiliar with the bench and bar. Um, I firmly believe that the competitive edge that small firms have is the ability to give clients more personalized attention. The Pestle analysis would tell me to stick to St. Paul and put my efforts here, but if I add D, 
Professor, with the D standing for daring, drive, determination, then I'll seriously have to consider whether forging a new path for legal services in this small town where I just moved would be worth it. Thank you.